Hey everyone, it's Dominique from Lunar Light Tarot. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have another pick a card reading for you all about what do your old classmates and friends think about you now, okay? So I have three piles for you to choose from. Pile number one is going to be the clear crystal with the magician and the mirror card. Pile two is the blue crystal with the goddess of the moon card. And pile three is the yellow crystal with the victory card, all right? So go ahead and choose your diamond, choose your card, whatever one's calling out to you, and then I'll meet you at the timestamp below. And for those of you who are my subscribers, my OGs, of course, I have the subscribers only reading today. It's going to be all about your next three months, advice and predictions for you, okay? Not too late to subscribe. If you want to get in on that reading, go ahead, click the button now, and you'll be automatically factored in when I shuffle in your energy. Alrighty, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into your reading. I'll see you there. Hey, pal one, and welcome to your reading. If you chose this clear crystal or the magician and the mirror card, this one is for you. Let's go ahead and get into how do your old classmates and friends view you now, okay? And we're gonna start with the card that you chose. All right, with the magician in the mirror, these people see that you've tapped into your potential and you're using your power, your discipline, your vitality to move forward very quickly in life, okay? Um, I'm also noticing, I don't know if you can see this very well, but on the top of this magician's head is the infinity symbol. And of course, you have 53 on the top of the card, which also is an eight. So these people feel like you have infinite potential. Okay, I feel like a lot of them didn't necessarily see that at the time that you were studying with them, when you were friends with them. They saw some potential, but they realize now that you've tapped into even more. Okay, I'm also picking up on um, most likely to be successful. I don't know, I don't know if some of you guys kind of got that superlative, but that's what people think about you now. Okay, they feel like you are very successful and you are one of the most likely people in your class to be very successful going into the future, okay? These people also think that you seem to get whatever you want, all right? I'm also getting that with the magician in the mirror. You bring in a lot of opportunities. You bring in a lot of positive energy. You also seem very, like, sage and wise these days. That's what I'm picking up on as well. People think that you're very sage and wise, very interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead now and get into the tarot and see what else we can find, okay, about how your old classmates and friends view you now. All right, dinosaurs, for time number one, how do their old classmates and friends view them now? Everything is fine in reverse. Page of Pentacles, how do their old classmates and friends view them now? Oops, this one fell on the floor. I like to say if it falls on the floor, then it counts times four. And let's get one more. Okay, thank you. That kind of rhymed. <laughs> Three of Wands. At the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Pentacles. So your theme here is about overcoming, all right? Your classmates seen you as someone who's overcome a lot, a lot, a lot. Ever since you, you know, went to school with them, ever since you were friends with them. Um, you were someone where I think that there was a lot going on in your life at the time that you were friends or classmates with these people. There was a lot going on underneath the surface. And they're only now starting to realize some of that with everything is fine in reverse. You would kind of put on a front, like everything was okay in your life and everything was fine. But in reality, there you're maybe being um, like in a really difficult hardship during that time, okay? I think people now are looking back and realizing that you were going through something really serious at the time or, you know, just a really hard time in life for you in general. And now they see you with somebody who has been able to kind of make an opportunity from these difficulties or just like pick up and move to a better place. OK, you didn't let it stop you with this page of pentacles. They see you with somebody who didn't stay stuck. All right. Instead, you find your, you found your lane of opportunity. You found a way to turn your pain into power. And you moved past the situation. Six of swords that fell on the floor. So that's one of the biggest things that they actually have realized about you is that you moved out of a difficult situation. You're no longer in rocky waters. In fact, you were actually looking forward to more good things coming into your life with the three of wands here. 
Okay, they see that you're expecting even more stability, even more happiness, even more opportunities. You come across as someone who is very um, grounded now. Okay, very grounded, balanced, probably makes a good amount of money because we had the Queen of Pentacles. They see you as somebody who's financially stable. They also see you as somebody who is a good communicator or who stands your ground, who stands up for yourself. Um, you may even inspire other people by giving them advice. This is really different than kind of how they saw you in the past, all right? And I feel like a lot of people may have maybe overlooked you when you were uh, going through school or, you know, when you were friends with these people because they kind of felt like um, they just didn't understand what was going on in your life. They kind of felt like things were sort of easy for you. But now looking back, they, they realized that you were actually going through a hard time. Okay, what else do we have here? Let's look at the energy oracle. What do your old classmates and friends think of you now? Okay, we have the sixth shocker coming out. Now they feel like you are very intuitive. Again, you're very wise. You see things from a higher perspective with the sixth chakra. This is the third eye chakra. So your old classmates and friends feel like you approach everything from a very balanced perspective. Now you have this like um, very stable, wise perspective on things. They feel like you've really grown in wisdom. Okay. And you are... You're someone to really look before you leap too. Not that you're overly cautious, but you have this wisdom that only comes with like time and experience. You guys could be actually um, more mature than like your age, okay? Than most people your age, and that shows. What do your old classmates and friends think of you now? They also think that you're very intelligent. You're very intelligent. Okay, what else do we have here? This one flipped over. Adjacent possibilities. Your old classmates and friends realize that you have opened so many doors for yourself. There are so many ways that you can come into success. They've noticed that about you, okay? And also that you make your own success. You create your own opportunities. They find it to be really interesting about you, all right? You're the kind of person who I'm getting like doesn't really take no for an answer. You are trying to move forward with your life and you've been able to find multiple avenues to reaching your goals way in ways that people found like to be unexpected. So you could do a career that is a little bit unexpected. Um, and people may look at your career and be like, Oh wow. Like you really made that work for yourself. Like that not everybody is able to make substantial income from that, but you've been able to make things work. We have like a hobby or a craft that is like very unique. Okay. Um, some of you guys could be um, social media influencers as well. I'm picking up on that. Um, and they just find this to be really interesting. Okay, what else are we getting here? Now let's look at the What's the Tea deck. What do your old classmates and friends view you now? How do they view you now? We have Ain't-ish. <laughs> okay, I mean, hey, someone, someone's going to come through with the negativity. But it's funny because on the bottom of the deck is the Idol card as well. So I'm going to be taking that too. Um, you have two pools of people here. You have one group who is kind of fed up over the fact that you guys are so successful, all right? These are the people who kind of felt like you would have been left in the dust after, you know, you guys graduated or after you guys separated. They didn't think that you would really become anything. And now looking at your accomplishments, they try to find ways to diminish you, okay, by saying that ain't ish. They're kind of fed up with the fact that you are so respected and admired. We have the idol card next, okay? Love, respected, admired, idolized, and fan. So your old classmates and friends see that people actually really respect and admire you. A lot of people do, and you have a lot of support. I'm, I'm, I'm getting that we have some social media influencers in this pile, okay? People who are on social media, for sure. What else do we have here? What do your old classmates and friends think about you now? For pile one lost chances they lost their chance or you did yeah now they feel like they can never really come back into your life all right um some of them may have been like kind of complacent when they noticed that you were going through things or never dug deeper or some of them could have actually um you know looked down on you been naysayers or you know they weren't really supportive of you and they are aware of that they're aware that they weren't supportive of you when you were in school together when you were friends and they feel like they could never really come back into your life now that you were at this elevated status what do your old classmates and friends think of you ego oh wow okay these people feel like you think that you're better than them now 
spicy. Okay, it's not always going to be positive. Yeah, they feel like you, they feel like you think that you're better than them, but I really just think it's a projection. You know, they are maybe intimidated by the way that you glowed up. Ever since you um, left the friend group, ever since you graduated, there's something about them thinking that you think you're better than them. Okay, so they wouldn't dare approach. Threatened. Okay, I have to cover this a little bit. Okay, there we go. That image is kind of rated R, so I had to cover that. But um, yeah, these people are actually feeling quite threatened by you. Some of them are. Um, they feel intimidated and bothered because you are getting so much support and you're moving towards your goals very quickly, okay? When they feel like, um, they feel like it should have been them, all right? Some of them feel like it should have been them and didn't anticipate that you would be glowing up so much, that you would have so much success after, um, I'm hearing specifically high school, School. A lot of a lot of your high school classmates could feel this way about you. Some of these people may even like copy some of our ideas. Now they may copy like the outfits that you do. They may try to find out the places that you're going and try to frequent them. Not to bump into you, but to like take pictures in the same aesthetic, that kind of thing. Um, some of them may be, especially if you are on social media. I know I know not everybody is, but they may be inspired by you to try and make a page, something like that. That's what I'm getting. Some of these people actually like bite your style now. What else are we picking up on? I'm going to check into the white and yellow deck. What do your old classmates and friends think of you now? Are you seeing someone else? So they're curious about your relationship status, your old classmates and friends. They also have fairy tale romance, Cinderella, and dreams come true. They feel like you've been in really positive relationships ever since you graduated okay some of you could actually be in a relationship or you were in one and maybe you broke up with that person but um they feel like you've always been in really positive relationships ever since you left um like the schooling with them okay which is really interesting they feel like you always find soulmates and like your love life is always really good what else do we have here what do their old classmates and friends think about them sexy hands okay random some of you guys that have tattoos on the hands some of you guys get your nails done a lot um yeah some of you guys just have really nice hands nice nail beds beautiful bare face some people feel like you have a really gorgeous face gorgeous naturally i'm just getting that um a lot of people feel like you've glown up and you've grown into a lot of your features next we have incredible style trends that are imitated never duplicated that's confirmation for what i said about them biting your style and look, guys, I just split the deck and it says, your success intimidates me, period. Your success does intimidate these past people. They find themselves being jealous. Oh my God, that's what the deck again. Yeah, they find themselves being jealous of your success. Let's keep going with this deck because I feel like this has the T right now. <laughs> what else do we have here? What do your old classmates and friends think of you now? Freaky deaky, this person wants to do kinky things with you. Some of your old classmates and friends are attracted to you and they could want to, um, you know, do things with you. This could also be like um, former bosses or coworkers. We have former coworkers coming through. A former boss or a coworker could be attracted to you. I underestimated you. You made it out the mud. I'm telling you, people are really surprised at the way that you've been able to come up. Okay. That's how they think about you now. They're like, oh, wow. The, the person really changed their life around because when they met you or when you were around them, they feel like you were very impulsive. That you made bad decisions. So you could have poor money management. That may not be everyone that you were that uh, picking up in this reading, but for a certain group, of the past people, they may have thought that you were impulsive at that time in your life. And now you're very stable. You're very grounded. Okay. Now these people feel like your arm candy. You're very attractive. It says wants you to uplift your social status, shallow and self-centered. <laughs> um, I'm just getting here that, you know, you look good when you're with people, like just being around you is, um, is good people's social status. Like you make your look, you know what I mean? You make people look good and people notice that your look to be around. I'll reach out to you soon. Expect a call or a text. Oh, wow. So you got a past person trying to return into your life as well. Be aware of that. You could have a past person trying to return. What else do we have here? Let's check out the believe in your dreams oracle. What do their old classmates and friends think of them now? Potion. Remember to practice self-love. Some of them may suspect that you're doing magic 
to achieve this effect, okay? Yeah, some of your old classmates and friends, they think that you are a spiritualist. They think that you may be, you know, there's lots of different words for that. A manifester, a witch, a spiritualist, a healer, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think manifestor is probably the most common term these days, but a lot of them feel like you are like a practitioner, all right? And you're able to draw in what you want. I'm not surprised because we got the, the magician in the mirror as your main card. So yeah, some of these people feel like you're doing magic to achieve this effect, that you're kind of magical, that you may be a witch. And that's how you're able to draw in these opportunities. Are you? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> okay, are you doing magic? I'm just kidding. I mean, you can. Uh, what else do we have here? What do your old classmates and friends think of you now for pile number one? And if you're enjoying this reading, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. What your old classmates and friends think of you now? I'm just going to pull from the deck like this. Spaceship, don't be afraid to sing. They feel like you've grown so much in confidence. And you've grown, I'm getting as like a public speaker. You're not afraid to speak in public anymore, speak your truth. Some of you actually may like to sing. So you can be musically inclined. And you've really grown as an artist too. Um, your old classmates feel like now you have a tight-knit group of friends who support you and that they're not really a part of that, okay? Like, you've moved on with new people. Um, I'm getting that random Drake lyric where it's like, um, I see you going out more and wearing less. <laughs> so some of your old classmates and friends could feel like that, okay? And who are those new girls i never seen before, you know? Yeah, Phoenix, how's that for a happily ever after? A lot of these people feel like you you were fine with bridges burning between you and these old classmates or you and these old friends. And, you know, ever since that kind of happened, it's not, not that it was intentional, just, you know, you just wouldn't go back. Um, you've made your own happily ever after. I feel like a lot of you are really taking control of your own narrative. Like people may have given you a narrative like when you were in school and you've really flipped that on its head, okay? And you, I'm not, I don't want to say that you, uh, these people kind of feel like you relish in being an outsider from their group. Maybe some people from your old classmates, they still hang out. They're still pretty close. I feel like not you guys though. Like you're kind of outside that group and I think you enjoy that because you don't really want to be around them anymore. What's your old classmates and friends think about you now? confidence it comes with time and practice yeah they feel like you've grown significantly in your confidence absolutely you've grown a lot and it did come with time and practice um a lot of them are really impressed with you i have to say they're impressed and some of them are very um intimidated and they feel a need to dim your light when you're talked about but hey it just is what it is no one can dim the light i mean <laughs> if it's shining too bright you better get some sunglasses all right, guys, that's what I have for you today. I hope that you did enjoy this reading. If you want more, do you guys check out the OG reading. It's going to be all about your next three months, advice, and also predictions for you. So all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, and then you can watch that bonus reading at the end. It's the last timestamp. And then I also have a TikTok. If you guys want to check that out, Lunar Light Tarot, the same handle. That's where I show my face. So if you want to see more of this mug, you can go on over there. And I also have a website, lunarlighttarot.com, if you wanted to book a reading with me, that's linked down below in the description box. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll talk to you in the next one. Live and light. Bye. Hey there, Pal2, and welcome to your reading. If you chose this blue crystal or the goddess of the moon card, this one is for you. Let's go ahead and get started with what do your old classmates and friends think of you now, okay? And of course, we're going to start with the card that you chose. So off the bat, I'm getting that your old classmates and friends think that you had a massive glow up ever since you stopped uh, talking to them, you know, being around them. Maybe I'm also picking up intuitively that some of you actually may still talk to some of these old classmates and friends, um, a few of them maybe. But all of them have the same consensus that you glowed up a ton since then, okay? You're very, very attractive now. And I feel like you have this like elegance and beauty about you that almost reminds them of nature, like a very natural beauty is what I'm picking up on. A lot of you could have grown into your features. 
Okay. A lot of you I'm picking up um, are more fit than when you knew these people. You could have longer hair or like your hair health has improved um, ever since you knew these people. I'm picking up that some of you could have like dyed hair at the time where you knew them, but now your hair is recovered from like bleach or hair dye or something like that. Maybe, maybe you still do that, but your hair is a lot healthier. And these people also feel like you hold a really big light, okay? Like your light, your energy, your warmth is very palpable, okay? Even from a distance, like if people see a picture of you, it's very evident that you're happy, that you are enjoying life, you're probably a great friend. People can tell us about you. Your old classmates and friends also feel like you have nice tattoos. If you've gotten tattoos since you've known them, a lot of you could, you know, have gotten some or even piercings and they just like your tattoos a lot. Okay. That's mainly what I'm getting from this card. Let's go ahead on to the reading now and look at tarot and find out more. All right. What do your old classmates and friends think of you now? It's time number two. Six of Cups. Uh, immediately, I got <laughs> life is treating them well. <laughs> they feel like life is treating you well these days. What do your old classmates and friends think of you now? Pile number two. Four of Pentacles. The Chariot card. And last one, please. King of Swords. Along with the Six of Swords. Okay. This is interesting. Okay, so your old classmates and friends just feel like... Um, you're, you're pretty similar from when they knew you for the most part. They feel like you're, you always miss someone who's very kind, who's very giving, um, even somewhat sensitive, right? I feel like you're someone, they think that you're someone who kind of hold on to grudges a little bit. Like you, if someone did you dirty, you're not really one to forgive and forget. I'm also picking up on that because you are so kind and giving and it's like, you know, you don't want to surround yourself with people who are not on the same wavelength as you. Picking up on that. They feel like you only surround yourself with people who are kind like you, okay? I'm also saying that, again, they think that your life has been pretty sweet ever since you have stepped away, you graduated, or you stepped away from these friendships, okay? Your life's been pretty good. People have been, like, giving to you. People have been giving to you. The universe has been giving to you, okay? Um, back to the comment that I made about, like, I guess holding a grudge essentially these people do feel like you're holding on to whatever happened in the past okay as in you're not willing to really talk to them anymore because of maybe what had happened i feel like there's a few people that you're still cool with like a select few people but other than that you're kind of like closed off to reconnecting with a lot of these old classmates or old friends Okay, what else do we have here? Um, these people feel like you're very financially responsible too. Like you tend to hold on to your money, okay? Um, you make financially responsible decisions. They feel like you're very practical and grounded in that way, okay? Some of you may live near a city or like in the suburbs and things, and they find that you have a practical way of like paying for your expenses. It just seems like you can afford your lifestyle. That's what I'm trying to say. These people feel like you can afford your lifestyle, all right? We also have the chariot. Your old classmates and friends feel like you're moving forward in life pretty quickly. All right. Um, some of you could literally ride motorcycles. But some of you, they feel like you have a really nice car. Um, but most of them just feel like you're moving forward quickly when it comes to life. They also feel like you are edgier than when they knew you. All right. You've kind of found your personal style. You found who you are. And yeah, sometimes you may dress a little bit edgy as well. They also feel like with the King of Swords that you tell it like it is. You're not afraid to speak up. Maybe you've always been pretty opinionated. I pick it up on that with this pile. Like you were never really like necessarily the shy person. Um, but they like that you stepped into your power. You stepped into your um, power of speech, your voice. Okay. They feel like a lot has changed for you in your life with the Six of Swords here. Like you moved away from a lot of rough waters. And I have to say a lot of people are pretty happy for you. They don't always know what's happening in your life because I think you keep things pretty private. But they can tell that you're doing well for yourself. Things are stable. Okay, what else do we have here? Let's check out the Energy Oracle. So what do your old classmates and friends think of pile number two? What do their old classmates and friends think of pile number two? Yeah, the Thinking Woman. 
Okay, so these people feel like you really transformed a lot, okay, with the butterfly on the card. Like, you become a lot more practical, a lot more grounded, um, more responsible as time has gone on. They feel like you're adulting very well, to be honest. Like, you've grown into a really responsible adult, okay? Um, I'm also picking up that these people feel like you're very intelligent. Okay, with all the books, they can know that you like to read, but they just feel like you're very intelligent. Um, that just shines through a lot. You're very thoughtful as well. Thoughtful when it comes to compassion, yes, and like how you treat people, but also just like you're someone who thinks about things very deeply. Okay, you like deep conversations. You like, um, you know, you just you just think deeply about things. What else do you have here? What do your old classmates and friends think about you now? Angel of strength. Wow. Yeah. These people know that you're unbreakable. All right. You have this well of strength that never runs out. All right. And that you've had to be strong for certain parts of your life. All right. And they, they recognize that within you They're A lot of them are kind of like proud of the way that you've grown because they feel like you have like this fierceness to you now. This like don't F with me kind of energy. All right. Yeah, we also have the first chakra, Archangel Michael. I'm going to take that up, right? A lot of them feel like you've grown in stability, all right? You're much more stable, much more secure in yourself. Maybe you guys were um, a little bit insecure when you knew these people, and now they feel like you are very secure, all right? Nothing can really rock the boat when it comes to you. You know who you are. You know what you stand for. And, you know, if you know what you stand for, you don't just fall for anything. So I'm also picking up that you guys could have been somewhat gullible when you knew these people and not anymore. Okay, you're not gullible at all. It's interesting. What do your old classmates and friends think of you now? Now I'm using What's the Tea by Fire Witch Tarot. What do your old classmates and friends think of you now? Uh, legal issues. Okay. Um, no, this is only going to resonate for some people. <laughs> this is one of those cards that I low-key take out of the deck sometimes, but I forgot. Um, interesting. Some of your classmates could feel like you were dealing with legal issues at some point and you overcame them. All right. Um, if you, if, if that resonates and it resonates, um, some of you got out supposed to be studying to be a lawyer. Okay. Or they feel like you are studying a field that is like equally as hard. They could feel like, um, whatever you're doing is like, you're in a really interesting and in-depth area of study. I'm picking up on that specifically. Interesting. What do your old classmates and friends think of you now? That may not resonate for everyone. We have the stalker card, okay? Stalking, watching, and obsessed. A lot of them are watching your journey. Yeah. A lot of these old classmates are watching you very intently, um, especially on social media. So you may even have, I mean, they may have some people like blocked, but they make fake accounts just to look at you because we have spiritual hater as well. It says hates on your spirituality, light, magic, and power. So there are some people that are kind of jealous of the way that you've been able to come into stability. Okay. I feel like there's some people who are still quite maybe like erratic or not as responsible. They haven't really grown up as much as you have since you knew them and they, that's what they hate on when it comes to you your sense of stability and the way that you're comfortable with peace the way you don't confuse peace with boredom there's something about that what else do we have here cyber bully you are being bullied online or they are or has suffered from it okay there there is a storyline here where i feel like currently you may have someone, I'm feeling like this could be an ex-best friend specifically, if you fell out with a best friend, or this could be like um, a group of people who used to be popular around your school who are talking about you now because of whatever accomplishments that you've come into. And they like to maybe have group chats about you, that talk about you, um, and look at your social media. That's what I'm getting. Let me see if I can get a few more on this before I move on to a different deck. How do their old classmates and friends view them now? Chasing. These people, they like to talk about you because they feel like you have a lot of people coming into your life and that makes them jealous, okay? They recognize that you get attention romantically. They recognize that you've had a glow up. Um, they recognize that you tend to get the things that you want in life and that you are no longer associating yourself with them and that it triggers them, okay? That really triggers them. What do your old classmates and friends think of you now? Yeah, extra trigger! I can't make this up! <laughs> oh 
oh my god yes girl exactly exactly so they find themselves like trying to dig for dirt on you and like look into your life you know okay that's tea i wasn't expecting that to be honest these people are jealous because they feel like they live the same day over and over again like same ish different day right their life isn't really changing while yours has changed so much. So that's why they find themselves being jealous of you. And that's why they want to talk about you so much. But yeah, 11, 11 on the clock as well. They just feel like you're very aligned. Like you get the things that you want. And that kind of makes them mad because they don't have it like that. Okay. A lot of people are kind of like stuck in the mindset that you left them in. Okay. Maybe that's why you don't talk to some of these people anymore. Let's go ahead and see what do your old classmates and friends think of you now? I can see myself with you long term. So some of them actually find you very attractive and they feel like you were that kind of like wifey, hubby type that they would want to be in a long term relationship with. OK, they feel like you're the type that people would want to want to cuff, want to be with. I love being around you. You inspire me. So that's great. Not everybody is triggered by your growth. A lot of people are actually inspired by it. OK. Now we have Grace has the style, attractive physique, alluring energy, and invokes nervousness. Yeah, you're very attractive, okay, with a great sense of style. What else do we have here? You're tantalizing, almost irresistible. Wow. I'm telling you, you're very attractive these days. People recognize you had a big glow up. Next, we have badass, bad boy or girl, dangerous and hot. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are showing me up as a badass for sure. I'm not surprised we're getting that, especially because we had that motorcycle card. So you do show up as sort of a badass to these people as well. What else are we getting? I'm trying to make you thirst for my attention. Is it working? I'm getting two messages here. Um, some of these people could feel like what you're posting or if you do post on social media, that kind of thing, is like you want attention from these people. Like you want attention and you, you know, that's why you post. Um, maybe some of you guys, you know, you have, uh, you know, swimsuit pictures up on your page. You have travel pictures up and they're just like, oh, they're just trying to show off. I'm getting a little bit of that. And others, another message is that some people from your past are actually trying to get your attention with what either they're posting or, or what they're saying in the company of others who are mutuals to you, okay? You're gonna know if that resonates or not, of course. Beyond the back, it says, I have a lot of dirty thoughts and fantasies about you. So some of your old classmates actually find you hot, to be honest. What else do we have here? Sorry about this one. Okay, we have Sugar Daddy, Less to Spoil, and Chivalrous. Hmm, that's so interesting. Some of you guys, um, they may suspect that you are dating somebody who is very chivalrous and likes to give to you a lot. OK, some of them are um, at, that can be one of the reasons why people tend to be jealous of you as well. I feel like you come off like an entrepreneur, you come off like an empire builder. All right. And so some of these old friends, these old classmates feel like you attract a lot of people who like to kind of match your energy and spoil you. OK, because you can already spoil yourself. So they will. So other people want to give to you as well. I feel like people have noticed your old classmates and your old friends have noticed people like to chase you. They like to give to you. All right. Because you're just you're just that person like the people like to do that kind of stuff for you. So they that might make them a little bit jealous. OK, what else do we have here? I'm upset because I benefited from your lack of boundaries. Yeah, some of these old, old classmates, old friends are kind of mad because they can't really benefit from you any longer like they used to. They can't drain you for advice. They can't drain you financially. <laughs> they can't, you know, ask them, uh, you know, hold a 20 from you. They can't um, ask you to, you know, like help them out with certain things anymore. Or even just use you to compare themselves to, you know what I mean? To make themselves look good because now you guys have glowed up so much. If they were to try to compare themselves to you, they feel like they come up short rather than feeling like they're above you, okay? And that also makes them mad. Yeah, depressed, not themselves in a funk. I'm telling you guys, um, your glow up has actually made some people really upset. Because they used to compare themselves to you and feel like they were on top. And now when they do that comparison, it's not the same, Okay. It is not the same. That is interesting. That's so rude of them. Now we have popular loner, past peeps, lurking, local celeb, popping socials. Yes. Oh my God. You are a local celeb, you know, negative or positive. Like people are thinking about you. That's for sure. What do they think? Obsession. Oh, 
Some of your old classmates and friends are low-key obsessed. That's wild. They have an attachment. Okay. I'm telling you, a lot of them used to compare themselves to you as a way to make themselves feel good about themselves. And now, not anymore, because you're this person in red now. Yeah, they are not you. Oh my God. <laughs> you're you're one of a kind. You're really one of a kind. People used to compare themselves to you, and now you're that person in red. Like you have that natural sex appeal. You're alluring to all magnetic aura. All right. And people can see that. People can really see that. A lot of people, though, don't get me wrong, it's not all haters. Like, some people are really proud of you. They're really proud and they admire you, okay? They feel like you've blown up a lot and that's a great thing. What else do we have here? We're going to um, end it off with this deck, which is the Believe in Your Own Magic deck. And if you guys like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. What do your old classmates think about you now? Old classmates and old friends. What do they think of pile number two now? Evil queen, you deserve sugar and not salt. A lot of these people see now that you're only taking in people who are going to be balanced and aligned with your life. You deserve sugar and not salt. They realize that you were around a lot of people in the past who were taking from you, okay? Who were taking your energy, who wanted things from you, who were draining you. And they see now that you're not standing for that, okay? That's what I'm picking up on. What else do we have? Princess, you can be your own knight. Not only that, people are seeing that you've gotten yourself out of a lot of bad situations, okay? Like bad friendships, you know, weird social groups, or um, even like jobs that you didn't like, anything like that, you know? You've been able to really elevate yourself. That's what these people notice about you. They also, they also could notice your style and your hair has changed a lot. They, again, that hair, your hair could have grown out significantly, these people are also noticing that you have a shield of protection around you okay it's like you don't engage with negativity you just don't great endings are inevitable these people have noticed that you don't really care that things have ended between you and your old classmates you and these old friends you're just like endings are inevitable it's fine it is fine it's neither super positive it's not super negative it's just gray it's in the gray area and it's fine you're fine with that i feel like these old people are less cool with you moving on than you are which is so funny but yeah you've let them go you let a lot of them well you let a lot of them go mm -hmm. anyway that is what i have for you guys today i hope that you did enjoy this reading if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel become an og today so you can watch the og reading it's going to be all about your next three months advice and predictions for the next three months okay Additionally, if you want more content from me, I have a TikTok, a same handle, Lunar Light Tarot. I post there all the time and you can always see my face on there too. So if you want to see more of this mug, you can go over to TikTok and look me up over there. And I also have a website, LunarLightTarot.com. If you want to get a personal read with me and talk one-on-one, -on -one, I would love to talk to you. All right, that is what I have today. I'll talk to you in the next reading, okay? Love and light. Bye. Hey, pal three, and welcome to your reading. If you chose this yellow crystal or the victory card, this one is for you. Let's go ahead and get into what do your old classmates and friends think of you now, okay? And we're just talking about the card that you chose. So your old classmates and friends with the victory card think that you have come into a lot of accomplishments and goals. You have achieved a lot of them, okay? Come into a lot of achievements. And this feels almost effortless on your part, all right? Or that's what they think, okay? That's what it seems like. I'm also getting the term overnight success, okay? Some of you could have, like, social media platforms that you're doing really well on. Some of you could just, like, you know, randomly have a lot of followers on a, on a platform. Um, or you have a really successful career or just, you know, feeling very successful in life. And these old classmates and friends feel like this happened almost overnight, Meanwhile, you've been working very hard to achieve this, okay? I feel like a lot of you are entering into a new chapter of your life where you kind of been having a victory after victory after victory, okay? And it's because you have put in so much work prior inner work and also, you know, outer work to be able to get here. And now a lot of your classmates and old friends are looking at you like, whoa, like when did this person come up? When did they start having these wins, you know? 
Um, I'm wearing also like wrapped in gold. So it just looks like your life is very shiny, beautiful. Like everything is good right now. Okay. That's what your old classmates think of you, your old friends. You feel like everything is good in your life right now. You also think that you're not paying attention to them because you have the eyes closed here. They think that you're not interested in them at all. You're not really looking at their pages. You're not concerned with them, which could be totally true, um, but you're just doing your own thing. A lot of them also feel like you have a gorgeous face, okay? This person basically has a really beautiful face, so they feel like you have a really attractive face as well. So now let's go ahead and get into the tarot, okay? I'm starting with the Modern Witch Tarot. And let's find out, yes, what do your old classmates and friends think about you now? Two of Swords. What do your old classmates and friends think about you now for pound number three? Thank you. Five of Pentacles, okay. What do they think of you now? King of Swords in reverse. This is kind of funny. What do your old classmates and friends think of you now? Ace of Pentacles, okay. I'm going to leave it right there. Oh, along with the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is really interesting. And I almost started laughing during the pile because a lot of them feel like you were very removed from them. Okay. Two of Swords. Um, you may have some old classmates or old friends you've actually blocked. Okay. That could be the case. Or you just don't interact with a lot of these people anymore. Um, it feels like a line in the sand has been drawn uh, for some of you. And you're just not really interested in rekindling things with a lot of these people. You just moved on to a different place in life. And that's how they see you. They see you as being blocked off from them, not being interested in reconnecting. I feel like a lot of these people may still be around one another, okay? Um, particularly, I'm getting like college friends. College friends could still be associating with each other. Maybe even high school friends still associating with each other. But not you guys. You guys are really like removed from that with the Five of Pentacles. These people feel like they're out in the cold when it comes to your life. Like they do not know what's going on with you. You don't talk to them. The, the King of Swords in reverse. They're not privy to what's going on in your life. Makes sense because you have that eyes closed analogy again. Like they just don't really know what's going on with you. Um, and you are making it really private on purpose. Okay. But they can see even from the outside that you've been coming into a lot of opportunity and a lot of stability. Okay. It seems that you are uh, a lot more financially stable now these days and you seem to be making like a lot of good money. That's what they think about you, that you come into some like really good money. They don't exactly know what you do or like how you are able to make your money, but they just know that you seem like the universe has been giving to you You and you've been able to even be generous. They feel like your style has upgraded a lot as well. And that's how they can tell that you've been able to like accumulate more money because they feel like you may be dressing in more expensive clothes, um, like buying more expensive accessories, something about that. Okay. Now let's continue on with the energy oracle. Yeah, I'm getting four, four, four on the clock as well. They just feel like your stability has really, really increased since they knew you last. Okay, that's one of the biggest impressions that they get. What do your old classmates and old friends think of you now? Some of them could be envious of this as well. You have angel of balance. Yeah, a lot of them feel like you've come into balance in your own life, okay? Maybe when you were around some of these people, you weren't as balanced. Your life wasn't as um, together, okay? And so the idea of reconnecting with them is almost like reconnecting with that version of yourself. So it's just not really that appealing um, because they used to see you in that light where you were maybe less balanced. But again, now they see you as having a lot of stability in life, okay? What do your old classmates and old friends think of you now? The thinking man. A lot of them feel like you're a very deep thinker, almost like a philosopher, okay? You come across as being very wise and also knowledgeable about many subjects. Um, I'm hearing master of many. So you guys are very interested in a variety of subjects. You could have multiple hobbies or just be a lifelong student, like really interested in learning. Some of you could actually be in school for another degree, another, you know, and maybe in school for your bachelor's. Maybe you're in school for, um, I've heard some of you are getting like a doctorate even. Or you're going to have to dress back to school for like a specific purpose, okay? So yeah, some of you could also be still be studying, maybe getting a master's. And people are also noticing that about you. But they notice that you're very smart, 
as well. They notice you're very smart. You're a very deep thinker. I said, think about you now. What else do we have here? What do your old classmates and friends think of you? Angel of love. Wow. They feel like you're someone who's actually really kind. You know what I mean? You have a really big heart. And you could be someone who's a little bit sensitive too. And I feel like a lot of these old people, they kind of took advantage of that. You know, like they didn't honor your sensitivity. And now they, they feel like now you only surround yourself with people who are going to add positivity and joy to your life. All right. You're just not interested in being misunderstood, you know, or looked down upon because you enjoy peaceful energy like you don't like chaos like what's wrong with that so yeah i'm getting that a lot of them are noticing that um you were someone who's very kind and giving and you know a little bit sensitive and that a lot of them kind of were you know didn't really honor that and kind of looked down on that in the past that's what they're noticing what do your old classmates old friends think of you now creativity muncher some of them actually look at what you're doing from afar and try to copy your ideas i'm getting specifically um they could be copying the way that you do your makeup if you wear makeup your hairstyles the accessories that you wear they're like small things about your appearance the nails that you like to do things like that yeah some of them like to copy your style okay some of these old classmates and old friends they actually look to you for style advice Wait to your old classmates. And, yeah, a lot of them feel like you rejected them, all right? You're just no longer interested in associating with them. A lot of them are very curious about your love life. Or they could actually fantasize about you being um, their love interest, okay? So some of your old classmates are attracted to you. And they wish that they could kind of get with you. Even though a lot of them know that that's not really possible because you're just not interested in them fake flexing oh my here's some tea so some of them think that you are not as stable as you come across and that you act rich you act fancy and show off even though you may not actually have the money like that okay so yeah so some of them find themselves talking about you they talk about you because you actually show up like a boss all right stable rich business owner ceo those are the key words there so a lot of them may notice that you may have a business again or, or again you're just very stable especially financially you look very stable financially some people like to talk about this and feel like oh you're the other fate like they don't really make that much money or they have credit card debt that's why they that's why they can afford this blah blah this is not the truth okay what's your old classmates and friends think of you now What's your old classmates and friends think of you now? Oh my God, we have running. They feel like you ran away from like the friend group, from that um, group, of, group of people, okay? You were just not interested in being around. As soon as you had the first chance to get out, you did. That's what I'm picking up on. It could have been like as soon as you guys graduated, you did, okay? Those have family issues. Um, a lot of them, they may feel like you... Yeah, you may not get along with your family, okay? Some of them could know that about you, or some of them may be speculating that you have some family issues going on, even currently. Um, you know, God for God forbid, but some of them could know that you recently went to, like, a loved one's, like, funeral or something. And if that's true, I'm so, so sorry about that. Um, but, yeah, they could, they could know about that. That's interesting. Um, hmm. That's mostly what I'm getting here. Let me go ahead and move on to the white and yellow cards now. Let's see what else we have here. What do your old classmates and friends think of you now? Your success intimidates me. Shh. Oh my God. First card coming out. Not pulling any punches. Yeah. Your success does intimidate a lot of these people. The way that you've come up. I'm avoiding conversation right now. I just can't take the heat. So a lot of them avoid conversation with you because they feel like, again, you rejected them. All right. They're like, I'm not going to talk to that person again. Like, I'm just going to leave it alone because they feel like they wouldn't even know really what to say to you. Um, a lot, again, a lot of you do intimidate these people because they kind of feel like you've bossed up a lot from when they last knew you. Like they're, you're getting this win after win after win. And some of them, you know, they ended up talking ish about you. So they're like, well, I, I, I couldn't fake to try to be friends with them. That's for sure. Okay. We have Just Wants X, Hit It and Quit It, Friends with Benefits, One Track Mind. I have to be careful about that word. Actually, maybe I should, <laughs> maybe I should cover it um, just in case because, you know, YouTube. But yes, yeah, some of them actually would want you to be there, you know, um, how do I say that? 
situationship. Yeah. They want to be in a situationship with you. <laughs> Some of these old classmates, they wonder what you're like in bed. Okay. I think you're an amazing person. That's what they think about you now. Okay. You're an amazing person. Um, resolution, relief, conclusion, moving on, soon to be in the past. A lot of them feel like their relationship with you is over. You know, that's a really big theme here is that you just moved on. All right. They feel like the connection is in the past. You're not interested in rekindling things. Those have serious star power. So a lot of them feel like you, you know, you shine. You shine very brightly. They notice that about you. They notice that you've, you've grown a lot. And you come into your magnetism, okay? You have a very strong magnetism. Let's see. What do your old classmates and old friends think of you now? Take mixed signals as a no. So your old classmates feel like they've kind of signaled to you here and there that they could be interested in talking to you, but they've been kind of, you know, they haven't been consistent with you. You could have even had some old classmates who at one point were trying to reconnect with you, but they weren't really serious. And you just took that as a no. You just moved right along. I feel like these people are kind of used to having other people like chase them a little bit more. Oh, some of them are actually planning on reaching out to you again. That's interesting. And just try it to try it again, even though you may not really be interested. That's interesting. I feel like this is someone you're closer to, though. Someone you were closer to may be interested in trying to reach out to you again soon. One of your old friends. Yeah, move on to calm. Not really worth your time. A lot of them feel like you just moved on. You're just not interested anymore in being close to them. What do they think about you? Inspiring, creative, natural leader. Yeah, you're just a natural leader. You're focused on your own life too. Emotionally unavailable by, oh my God. Yeah, a lot of them feel like you're emotionally unavailable. And it's because some of them have been untrustworthy in the past. Okay. Some of them have really been untrustworthy. Some of them are not proud of the way that they've treated you. That's what I'm picking up on. I'm not proud of the person I've become. When they think about you and the way that they may have treated you in the past, some of them are not proud of it, which is why they avoid conversation. Um, next, we have hilarious comedic timing, naturally funny. So they think you're funny or they remember that you were funny. Okay. There's someone who's not giving up on the connection. Someone who wants to like reach out to you again because you guys may have had like a pretty decent friendship. And they want to try again. So maybe expect a call or a text from someone from your past. Okay. Um, confused, torn into directions, good hearted and lost. This is more about that person. Like there is someone that you may have been sort of close to. Um, but I'm getting like a, a former classmate, a former friend who was, I mean, they're both a classmate and a friend is what I'm trying to say. And they had a connection with you that was pretty, that was pretty good, but they they're good hearted, but their friendship got lost somewhere. Like the friendship just kind of fell off, but not in a bad way. This person is thinking about you and wants to reach out to you again. Okay. Most of your lips are sexy. Yeah. They feel like your lips are very attractive. Interesting. Okay, guys. So we're going to end things off with these believe in your magic Oracle cards. Yep. If you guys like this reading, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Go ahead and see what do your old classmates and friends think of you now? Wow, this one fell on the floor. Okay, one second. I like to say if it falls on the floor, then it counts times four. So we have garden. Something lovely will grow from this. Your old classmates and friends feel like you've grown tremendously ever since you have been in a new environment. Okay. People have seen others throw dirt on your name and you just almost like use it as fuel to grow, you know, even more beautifully. Okay. I feel like some of you guys could have been talked about in some of these social circles and you really were able to not internalize that, but use it as a way to maybe at first it was like, I'm going to show these people wrong, but it kind of propelled you into finding more of your purpose and finding your stride, okay? Like a lot of you guys did use it as like a fire underneath you to get to where you're going. People notice that about you. They notice that you use the difficult times to be able to grow as a person and grow towards your goals, which they admire. What else do we have here? Castle, it's time for healing, not for war. 
a lot of them recognize that you're not associating with them any longer because there's nothing really left to say. If you were to begin to rekindle things, there'd be all these things you need to dredge up, all these negative experiences you may have with these people that you're just not interested in reliving and recanting, you know? It's like, okay, things are in the past. It's time to heal. Let's all just move on and go to a different place. A lot of these people, they actually understand why you don't want to be around them anymore. They get it. Um, yeah, some of them, again, they're not proud of the way that they treated you. And they understand that you're just healing and you're moving on from that. Wow, we have shark. I don't know. What, oh, guys, you guys may have having a really difficult school situation especially like i wonder if some of you guys got bullied or you were in toxic friend groups because or even in toxic relationship while you were in school because we have shark swim away from the situation you guys really had to make a choice to really step away from these connections because a lot of them could have been really undermining your confidence um and your old classmates can see that now very clearly, okay? We have um, storm. Every hurricane comes to an end. So a lot of them have recognized that when you walked away, that was when your storm came to an end. That was when you were actually able to start getting these wins, start being more balanced, um, and, you know, take life and your narrative into your own hands. So, yeah, some of them recognize that the environment was really what was holding you back. Okay, and now you've grown into a lot of star power. All right, that's what I have for you guys today. If you did enjoy this reading, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Become an OG today, so you can watch the OG reading. Coming up in just a few minutes, it's gonna be all about your next three months advice and predictions for you about your next three months okay and if you want more content from me do check out my tiktok channel same handle lunar light tarot that's where i show my face as well so if you want to see more of this mug you can go on over there i also have a, a website lunarlighttarot.com if you would like to check it out and get a personal reading with me all right thank you thank you thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you in the next reading okay love and light bye Hello there to my OGs who stay to the very end of the video. I'm so happy to have you with me here today. Let's go ahead and get into your next three months predictions and also advice for you, okay? I'm gonna just get ahead and hop right into it, okay? If you are watching the OG reading, I'd love for you to comment a diamond down below, okay? period. Comment a diamond if you made it to the OG reading. I want to say thank you to all my OGs. Thank you for being subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate you all. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. What are your next three months going to be like? For my OGs, what are the next three months going to be like? Interesting. Interesting already. What are the next three months going to be like for my OGs? Three of Cups. Nice, nice. Six of Pentacles, cool. Next three months, okay, great, love it. Guys, you have a pretty clear sailing next three months uh, from what the cars have to say here. I do think that we're going to be watching you, watching your progress as well. Um, let's go ahead and start with this page of swords, okay? The first message here is yes, they're gonna be watching over the next three months. They're gonna be watching you because they're noticing that you're growing, all right? Um, so something about you that's going to be a little bit different or people are noticing that you've grown, that you're very different over these next three months, okay? But what I'm also getting from this card is that you could also be getting some kind of a new idea coming to you over the next three months that so you end up taking action on maybe towards the... Maybe to, how, when is that going to end? Maybe towards February. This is timeless, of course, but towards the end of the three months, you may be taking action on an idea that you get towards the beginning. So this could be an idea on how to make more money. This could be an idea on uh, something you want to change about yourself physically, like maybe getting a haircut or dyeing your hair or, you know, buying some new clothes. I'm getting specifically that some of you guys could not get an idea about a new place to shop that ends up being one of your favorite stores after that. So it could be anything big or small. Um, you even have a new friend coming into your life. I'm also picking up on that, a new friendship. Next with the Nine of Pentacles, 
you guys are feeling very independent over these next three months. And I feel like you're growing in your independence. Um, getting the image in my mind of fruit growing on a tree. And as we well know, the last thing to grow on the tree is the fruit. So I'm getting that the fruits of your labor are going to be coming in. I'm also now getting the mental image of a wallet and then cash just like flowing into the wallet. So, I mean, hey, I love that. You guys could be having an increase in income over the next few months, especially if you have some sort of a business, something that is like fluid where your income is fluid. I'm getting also like um, tips, more tips. If you have a tip-based job or a job where you can receive tips, there'll be more tips during the season. Okay. I know for a lot of places, this is busy season because it is the holidays. So for some reason, I feel like you're getting an inflow of cash during this time. Okay. You're feeling more independent. Um, it also could be that your projects are panning out in a really positive way. Something that you've been working on, it's kind of kind of coming to fruition. You're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel that this is all working out and the fruit is starting to form. Okay. Next with the three of cups, I'm seeing like fun relationships. Okay. Um, get together celebrations again the holidays are coming around when if you're watching this as it comes out again it's timeless but I am getting some celebrations maybe some birthday parties um, parties in general um, drinking if you do that in time with friends time with family there's something about just like having fun and enjoying each other six of pentacles I mean there are literally gifts in this card and I know next month is um, a big gift giving season if you're watching this when it comes out so yeah, you could be receiving some gifts as well. But again, this is timeless reading. So whenever you're watching this, I do see that you're probably going to be receiving a gift during the next three months from someone. Okay. I'm going to be someone that you care about. It could be um, a parental figure. It also could be someone that um, you are interested in romantically. Okay. Either friends or someone interested in romantically. It could also be, could also be a really close uh, friend or family member, family member. But I'm seeing you guys getting a gift. It can be a gift from the universe, okay? This money could be a gift from the universe. This a style upgrade could be a gift from the universe. But I'm just seeing like you're being given something after always like pouring into other people, okay? You're being really given something. Also, I feel like your vitality and your inner strength is going to be increased. You guys are probably going to come into some increased energy. OK, to be able to get your tasks done. I feel like your life's getting a little bit busier. This is going to be more of a flow time rather than an ebb. I know that, um, again, as you're watching this, as, as this comes out, winter is more of an ebb time for a lot of people where they tend to like hibernate and reflect on things. But for you, this uh, this next time is actually going to be much more active than you may be used to. So I'm seeing that spirit is going to be busting with extra energy so you can get all your work done. OK. What else do we have here? What else do the predictions for the next three months for my OGs? What's happening for them over the next three months? Angel of balance. You're going to need to find ways to be more at balance over these next three months because I do feel like your balance is going to be tested a little bit just because things are going to be so busy for you. So make sure you can balance work, play, and relaxation, okay? Relaxation and play, not necessarily the same thing, okay? So you can still be like, you know, tired after spending time, you know, hanging out with your friends, right? Just because you guys go out and do stuff. So make sure that you're finding time to relax and indulge in self-care. We're also getting cornucopia here. So I think you're having a really, really good next three months, to be honest. Like there's something that you're maybe trying out that's going to be really beneficial for you. Some of you guys will be trying a new hobby, could be trying some new recipes that you end up incorporating into your um, your daily routine. I'm actually getting that a lot of you could be improving in your cooking skills. Maybe you're taking note at Thanksgiving or you're taking note at the holidays that are coming up of like how people are cooking the food around you and you take in some tips that's coming in. I'm also getting that a lot of you could be taking it if you're, you know, in the U.S. I, I don't know. I think Black Friday is at a lot of places, but um, a lot of you guys could be taking advantage of the sales that are going on. I'm just getting that. Um, yeah, a lot of you can be doing some shopping over the next three months and accumulating quite a few things in gifts and also in shopping. But the next three months are going to be very happy for you guys. That's what I'm picking up on. 
very happy, if not busy. Yeah, woman holding a heart. You're just feeling very like loved, happy, enjoying your time. You know, some of you guys could have like some romance coming in, but I more so feel like this is, yeah, it's, it's community based. Look at that. It's community love from your community. Angel of love also coming out here. So this is so awesome. Just like lots of love, lots of warmth, lots of happiness in your community, really enjoying yourself, lots of parties and celebrations. Like it's going to be pretty easy, but you're going to be busy at the same time. Very, very busy. It's almost like a time that you manifest it with the goddess of the moon. You know what I mean? A really fun holiday time. I'm getting Hallmark movie, Hallmark movie. So your uh, holiday season is going to be like a Hallmark movie or this next three months is going to be kind of like a Hallmark movie. It's just very wonderful. Okay. When I split the deck here, I also got surrounded by prosperity. So that's what you're going to feel over these next three months. So let's go ahead and get the advice from my um, Whispers of the Ocean Oracle deck. Okay. We're going to get two cards. I'm going to read from the book. Okay. What is the best advice you have for my OGs over the next three months? Thank you. You have diving to new depths. And what's the last use of advice? Oh, okay. I'm just going to take the top one, actually. Okay, well, they gave me two, so we'll just read them all. <laughs> I can't say no. Come on now. All righty. I'm going to go ahead and read these from the book so we don't miss any messages. If you guys are looking for a great advice oracle, definitely check this one out. Um, I have no affiliation to this brand. I just love, love, love the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle. It's amazing. I use it for almost all of my client readings too for advice because it's just very comprehensive. Also, I love the animal facts. You'll see in a minute. Okay, diving to new depths. There's a deeper meaning to what is happening. You might be looking at this from the surface and missing what is really going on. Take a moment to pause and breathe. Allow yourself to dive deeper into what it is you are feeling about your current situation. You are being asked to make a deeper connection with yourself. Something in your life needs attention, meditation, or a solution. Pay attention to your inner voice to get in touch with your personal truths and to know the wisdom and understand the heartbeat of the universe. You might be asked to embrace the unknown. It is natural to form an initial view of a challenge or situation. You do this instinctively without any awareness. However, your first impression may limit your problem solving ability if you do not go beyond it. If you continue to address the situation from your current viewpoint, you will see nothing new. Try stepping back and seeing things differently or from a different angle and a new perspective will present itself. On a deeper emotional level, the spontaneous actions you have chosen may have caused you to feel unrest in your daily life. Sperm whales die the deepest of all the whales. They have been recorded at depths greater than 3,200 meters and can remain underwater for a bit longer than an hour. Sperm whales signify emotional depths and the connection between your thoughts and your emotional choices. You are being asked to dig a little bit deeper into a situation. So again, this is advice for the next three months. So if it doesn't resonate right now, maybe circle back when you're kind of um, encountering anything. And this will be the advice for you, okay? Next, it says, enjoy the journey. Stay present and flexible. Many changes are going on for you and around you. These changes are not only good, but necessary. Bring your awareness into the now rather than focusing on the past or the future. You can embrace the prospect of starting out on a new journey or project, even though you don't feel quite ready or prepared. You do not necessarily have a solid plan in place, nor do you really know where you are headed. Remain excited about the potential will benefit you. Upcoming changes will enable a new direction to emerge. See the good that is already in your life and be thankful for it every day. There are blessings all around you. Put your strengths and constructive attributes into something positive. Be in the flow. Open your eyes and your heart and enjoy this process. There is an ease and beauty to how you handle this task. Coral is believed to have appeared on the planet 542 million years ago. 
the coral reefs host over 4,000 species of fish and a multitude of other sea life. Coral provides a knowledge base about when and where to start, and it supports your endeavors with opportunities. It is about timing and patience. It shows a universal trust in being where you are and where you're supposed to be. It asks you to plant the seeds in order to create your world with perfect timing. Mm, interesting. And again, this kind of points back to you getting some kind of idea that you want to take action on, okay, towards the beginning of this next three months and then taking action towards the end. All right, let's see. Now facing your fears. Interesting. This one says, look for ways to strengthen your connection to the universe and others. Stay peaceful and calm in the knowing of who you are. When you feel strong, you connect to both your inner and outer strength. Find confidence within yourself. Take this energy and show the world the strong, assertive, and persevering individual you are. Release any self-doubt or fear, as you are being shown the strength you need is within you. If you are feeling worn out or stressed, hang in there. Improvement is on the horizon and will soon appear. Keep moving forward as you have the stamina to face your challenges and see things through to completion. If you do push too hard, you may need to take a moment and step back. Clarity will come at the perfect time and not a minute before. You won't be able to rush the outcome, so patience is required. Most fears are learned at a young age. Tune into your fears and determine if they are rational. Outline and develop what you are hoping to achieve that your fears may be waylaying. Visualize positive success as you work through your fears. Consider becoming physically active to help reduce excessive energy related to fear and stress. The lionfish is small in stature. It can enlarge its presence by opening its fins and making a demonstration of its strength. Lionfish openly swim in the morning or the afternoon, stalking their prey. They use their beauty as a distraction to enable them to immobilize their catch. You have access to an easy strength and a natural dignity. This is something that is innately yours and it is a time for you to claim it for yourself. You were born powerful and power comes to you naturally. This may also mean you are in a period of amplified energy. There's a spotlight on what you are creating, which means you can achieve your goals with less effort. You're being encouraged to stand your ground and stick with your beliefs. This is interesting. They're mentioning a little bit of a challenge. I think the challenge is going to be finding balance within a lot of things being very busy. That's mostly what I'm getting. Um, but yeah, it seems like you're going to be taking on some kind of a new idea, um, facing your fears in terms of maybe being seen or, you know, just going for this new idea. But a lot of positive love and joy coming from your community, a lot of happiness, seeing like gifts and buying things and just having fun and just being in a really, really good energy despite being very busy. Okay. Anyway, that's what I have for you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching the very end of the video. Don't forget to comment that diamond down below so I can know who my OGs are and I can say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I also have um, my website. If you want to visit it, you probably heard me say that a million times, but I don't like that, guys. <laughs> you can visit if you want to book a personal reading with me. I um, also have a TikTok. Check me out over there if you're interested. Same handle, Little Light Tarot, and I will see you guys on my next video, okay? Thank you so much. Love you guys. Love and light. Bye.